So welcome back to another episode of retirement income planning. So that is really the topic for the next couple of videos. Uh, we're going to be doing a series on this and I'll try to limit each video to around 12 minutes long and then uh, we'll see how many episodes we need to go through this process. So what you're looking at right now is actually one of the tools I developed uh, when I go through a call with a potential subscriber. Uh, so I have made a free version uh, that you can just copy, download, and play with uh, during your spare time for retirement planning. So in this video series, I'm going to go through how you can grab this calculator in this video, and then uh, who is this for, how to use it, what is usually the base case, uh, how can you use this to plan for your retirement, what are the common pitfalls when you are uh, planning for retirement, and how do you make sure you're okay? Uh, so that is pretty much how it's going to go and we can get started. So before we start, I just want to celebrate another four successful case studies where Ishaq made 104% from Intel in two months, Heiwan made 75% from Intel in two months, Brad made 74% from Intel in five months, and Mike made 85.6% from Intel in two, month, uh, two months. So congratulations to you four. Uh, so that's fantastic. And I look forward to the next successful case study you got. So in this video, um, I'm going to first walk you through how to get this calculator downloaded. So the link to the calculator is in the link, uh, five minute investing.com slash retirement dash return dash calculator. So if you just go to the link below, I'm going to include the link to this calculator and all you got to do is just enter your name and email then you can get this calculator for free and it will take you to um, the Google Sheet which you see right here. So now what you'll do is you'll first click file and make a copy and this will give you a copy to Google uh, Sheets uh, and then you can start changing some of the assumptions here. So let me tell you a bit of a backstory on why I need to use this calculator. So oftentimes, uh, when people come to talk to me about investing, they always start with some sort of goal. So this can be, I want to retire in seven years. This can be, I want to have a net worth of two million. And one of the things would be, well, how long does it take you to get there? Like, is it possible with the current return you're getting to reach that retirement goal? And if you do learn a more uh, aggressive or more active strategy and get a higher return, would that get you faster? And if so, what is the change you need to make or how much money you need to allocate in order to uh, reach your retirement goal? And usually when you're looking at retirement goals, I'm just going to use a name Bob. There are two parts. So the first part is really what is the portfolio value in the end that you want. Now, some people know this already. They might have done a calculation with FIRE and it's usually around $1 million to $4 million, uh, depending on how aggressive you want to be. Now, the second part of retirement is really what is your annual expense? And most of the time, uh, from my experience talking with people that are in their 40s, 50s, or 60s, it's somewhere around 20 k to 40 k uh, up till 80k depending on how many members you are considering uh, so usually when you're planning for retirement you probably have your house paid off or you don't really have a big consideration for rent then your annual expenses is going to be lower if you still plan to pay some sort of rent then it will be higher of course uh, but my range uh, is based on my experience is around 20k to 40k uh, so you can do your calculation there and for this calculator is really to help you look around 10 to 30 years in advance. So you can see I have actually built this up all the way till 35 years. So here you can see, you know, what would happen if you're able to achieve a certain return every single year. Now, of course, when you're using this calculator, there's going to be volatility, uh, which means there are going to be some years you're not going to get that return. So you'll need to be aggressive first in terms of your assumption and then kind of dial it down so then you make sure you're hitting that goal. Uh, so that's really how you want to use this calculator and we'll also talk about savings uh, which I have put in here as well. Okay, 
So let's get started uh, with the simple case. Now, the simple case is really about, you know, if you walk into the financial advisor today and what is the kind of return you can get. Now, when it comes to investing in uh, index funds or mutual funds or using a 401k, you usually get to select conservative, moderate, aggressive. And that ranges you from around 3% to 10%, depending on uh, which one you choose. And usually for conservative, the financial advisor will assume that you cannot lose any money. So that would be around 3% or less. Now, this return I'm using here is before inflation. So if you take into account inflation, which is around 2% or 3%, then your real return is actually 0%. So basically, um, you're not getting any return at all. Um, but let's go with 3%, which is the before inflation rate. So you always need to take your return and minus the inflation uh, when it comes to calculating whether your portfolio is really growing or not. Now, obviously, the Fed has been printing quite a bit of money, so the inflation rate for the future will be slightly higher, at least in the short term. Uh, that's my opinion. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see how 100,000 will grow over the years. And I realize there's actually a typo here. So I'll fix that for you. Um, and this is the portfolio value if you also save $1,000 a month. So you can see it's 115 after the first year. And the way this works is I assume the portfolio grows at 3% for the year and you put in 12,000 at the end of the year. Now, this is an assumption. Of course, you can put in money into your portfolio every single year. Uh, but for the simplicity of the calculation, uh, that's what I did. So if you expand and click on this plus button, then you'll get the calculation uh, inside where the money saved here is year over year, 12,000, which is taking the 1,000 times 12. The year over year gain is just a 3% times um, the previous balance. So then your return for the money you saved this year doesn't kick in until year two. So if you go to year two, then that's when I would take um, 115 times the three percent and then add on to it so here you can see what i did is i just take the total balance times the percentage plus the money save so that's actually how it works and if you want to change this assumption uh, yes you can so you can just go ahead and do that so when you are looking at you know a conservative uh, portfolio you will realize that sometimes your financial advisor will be honest with you and tell you that you wouldn't make it or you wouldn't be able to retire. So this is the easiest to see when you're looking at the year over year gain. So you can expand this sheet and look at the column E. Uh, and this actually happened to one of my subscribers where she had around half a million dollars, okay? And let's say she was saving a thousand dollars a month and she was planning to retire in 15 years or so. And after she did the calculation and based on her goal and the financial advisor said, well, I don't think you're going to be able to retire. And she was actually shocked. And I think it's because a combination of factors. So first, she had a goal of, you know, retiring with, let's say, around $2 million. And she only had 15 years remaining to work. And with that amount and only saving 1000 a month, then you can see that after 15 years, she's only able to reach a million using a conservative return, which is 3%. Uh, so here you can see she wouldn't make it. And if your financial advisor is honest with you, then, then you will know. Uh, or if he or she is not honest with you, then you wouldn't know until watching this video. <laughs> now, what if you go up to 5%? Now, 5% is a moderate return. After inflation, you're making around 2% to 3%, which is not really a lot, but it is still moving in the right direction. And in this case, after 15 years, uh, for my subscriber there, she would be at 1.3 million. So it's really not at the 2 million mark that she wanted. So that means she needs to go even more aggressive with her portfolio, which is 7%. Now, 7% will get her closer 
or a lot closer, which in this case is 1.7 million. And when you're thinking about this balance, that is great. But when you're thinking about the return, this means you're pretty much putting 100% of your portfolio into equities. Uh, so you're not putting it into low risk bonds, you're not putting it into uh, some government guaranteed income, uh, you're not going to put it into some lower return dividend stocks that doesn't really grow much. Um, so that is really the average return for S&P 500. So if you think about getting you know, 7, 8 or even 9%, it means you're going to have a very large chunk of your portfolio, if not the entire balance in the stock market. So one of the things you need to consider is whether you can accept that. So if you cannot accept having your entire portfolio in the stock market because you can't sleep at night, then you got to rethink whether this return is reasonable in the normal circumstances. So that's basically it uh, for this video. We're just about to hit the 12 minute mark. Um, so in the next video, we'll continue on and explain this calculator. So if you're interested in learning more about investing and how I invest, then you can grab the free training below. It's four hours long and um, you can sign up for it. You can watch the entire four hour free training and then schedule a call with me. So if you hear some bird noise in the background, it's because I opened my window and now it's the migration season. So that is the seagulls in uh, British Columbia or whatnot. So I'll see you in the next video.